everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So as you guys can tell by the title today, I am going to be doing a liquid lipstick review. I probably should change my top because I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I am back. Um, I apologize if you guys see this face a few times this week. Just know that I am dedicated to this vlogmas life and I love you guys so much. But anyway, let's hop into today's video. <laughs> so I basically have two liquid lipstick shades from this Wet n Wild collection. I have the shade Give Me Mocha, which is what I'm wearing today. And I have the shade Missy and Fierce, which I will be swatching a little later for you guys. And honestly, can, okay, can we just talk about the packaging? Can we just? Can we just talk about how cute this packaging is though? It is so cute, it is so chic, especially for drugstore. Say what now? This packaging is just amazing. And I actually really do like the applicator on, on these liquid lipsticks. So the applicator is kind of weird. So it's like a typical doe foot if you look at it straight on. But then when you turn it to the side, it kind of has a little bit of a dip right there. And I feel like that is what holds the product. And also, it hugs your lips really well, which I quite like. I like the fact that the wand just, you know, goes with the curve or the natural curve of your lips. Let's hop on to some swatches now. And I'm just going to be swatching Give Me Mocha on the back of my hand. So it applies really well. Um, I will say that with Give Me Mocha, I find that it's just a little bit patchy when you apply it. I'm not sure why. It could be maybe the wand that's kind of interfering with like the application, I feel like. But yeah, this is Give Me Mocha. And then I'm going to be swatching Mercy and Fierce. And this is probably like my favorite red of life. So this is the colors swatched side by side. It does take a little bit long to dry. Not too, too long though. Um, but it dries down to like a full matte finish, which I really enjoy. And I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but like the application with the wand is not completely even. So that could explain why this color is just slightly patchy. But I will say that when you guys are applying this color, make sure that when you pull the wand out, from the tube that you need to take off some of the product. Don't just pull it out and go straight in. You need to take off some of the product and that makes it so much easier to work with, especially when you're like carving out the edges of your lips, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna be swatching Give Me Mocha on my lips and I don't know if you guys will be able to see on camera, but you can see that it's slightly patchy and I have to go in with a second layer to make sure that I I have the full opacity. I mean this color is beautiful and I've seen this color look so many different shades of dusty pink and dark brown on so many different skin tones. On my skin tone it looks like a dusty pink shade but honestly I really really love this shade and These liquid lipsticks are really, really bomb. They are really comfortable on the lips. They don't dry out your lips too much. I mean, I feel like they do transfer. Let's do the transfer test. Okay, so Give Me Mocha doesn't really transfer. To get this liquid lipstick off, I'm just going to be putting some facial oil on my lips because it is a nightmare to get off with just a wet wipe, honestly. So this is what the color Missy and Fierce looks like. It's such a beautiful red shade. It actually has like pinky undertones in it, which probably makes it wearable for a lot of different skin colors. So as you guys can see, this red color applies really, really well. Um, it's a little bit more better than the Give Me Mocha shade in the sense that it's not as patchy and I didn't have to go in with a second layer like I did have to go in with Give Me Mocha. So it's probably the formulation with regards to the different shades. Ok, 
Okay, so let's just test the transferability quickly. So it doesn't transfer. I mean, there's a little bit of residue ever so slightly, but for the most part, it doesn't transfer. But I do notice that after like maybe two hours, I feel like the wear on your lips is not the same. So if you're drinking tea or water or whatever, you will find the lipstick on your cup. So overall, I have to say that I really, really do enjoy these Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. Are they worth it for a hundred rand? I certainly think so. I think with the packaging and the color selection and all that stuff, I definitely think these are worth it. They are comfortable on the lips. They are not as drying as other liquid lipsticks can be. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have these liquid lipsticks comment down below let me know which is your favorite shade or which shade you think i should try out next i love you guys so much i hope as always that you are enjoying vlogmas thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe like my video share with all of your friends and all that great stuff and i'll talk to you guys in my next video